Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have taken another uh, interview topic that is called what is technical clearing account. So this this is highly asked in the interview. So let's try to understand what is technical clearing account, why it is introduced. So <clears throat> it's very simple guys. When you purchase the asset, uh, what is the journal entry? Uh, in ECC it was posting, it was posting like asset accounting debit, asset account debit to vendor account. Okay. Asset account debit to vendor account. Now, just like Migo and Miro, we have GRIRGL which comes once in the uh, once it comes in the credit time during the MIGO and what once it comes in the debit time during MIRO. Similar role technical clearing jail is also playing. So now what it will do technical clearing because now in HANA the asset posting has to be bifurcated into two view that is known as a first view is known as a operational view another known as a valuation view. So what is called operation and what is called valuation? This vendor, vendor line item is known as a operational view. And this asset line item is known as a valuation view. Okay. So a vendor line item is known as a operational view asset line item known as a valuation view. Now if these two journal entry if you bifurcate if you separate them like this so there is no meaning because reason being for each credit you need one debit for each debit you need one credit right because without debit and credit there is no meaning of the journal entry. So therefore here technical clearing real comes into picture. is a debit okay and for asset it is already debit so here it comes in the credit technical clearing GL. it comes into credit now i hope you are clear now why technical clearing so technical clearing gl helps you to bifurcate your document into operational view and valuation view so valuation view is asset line item operational view is your vendor line item okay so now this is the journal entry you will find in, in the operational view and this is the journal entry you will find the valuation view after understanding the basic thing let us go little in advance now for vendor line item there will be document type kr but technical there will be document type asset AA okay and operational view operational view will not be posted based on any accounting principal specific or any ledger specific so this is not posted this is ledger independent independent or Accounting principle independent. Independent. Meaning that same journal entry is applicable for all the accounting principle. Whereas, whereas this valuation view is posted at ledger specific or accounting principle specific. Now, since this is applicable for both, so let us understand this one. Now, if you have two accounting principles or let's say two ledgers, you have 0L. So, it will get posted for 0L also, this entry. Okay. And same will also get posted for, let me post here down, here. 
let me delete this one so this is for one zero l zero l may be ifrs and one more entry if you have two accounting prints for two ledger one more entry will get posted and that is for let's say non leading ledger nl nl non leading ledger and that has a county for ir okay so up to here i i believe you people are clear so ledger is specific valuation journal entry will get posted so for zero l it will get posted simultaneously for non leading ledger also it will get posted now these are ledger specific our accounting principle is specific but as i said this entry are not ledger specific that ledger independent meaning that this entry is applicable for both the ledger for this also and for this also so this entry comes here here also here also it comes and same entry comes here also okay so now when you look at the journal entry at the valuation view label are zero l label and nl label what you'll find you'll find total this four line item one aa that is asset account debit to technical clearing another for kr this two line item belongs to kr document type and this two line item be belongs to asset so ultimately this and this gets nullified this will always have zero balance in each accounting principle similarly here also this two line item belongs to ar this two line item belongs to aa okay this and this always have zero balance so overall technical clearing jail will have the zero balance i hope you are clear what is called operational view what is called uh, valuation view journal entry okay so this is about the uh, this is the journal entry get posted in S4 HANA integrated asset accounting. Now let us read some point and let then we'll see the practically. So <clears throat> new asset accounting required technical clearing J account to be set up. The system device account acquisition posting two part that is operational and valuation part already discussed. For the operational part, that is the vendor invoice, system makes posting to all the accounting principles. Just now I have shown you this, this posting here also, same getting posted here also. And <coughs> against technical K, the valuation part, asset posting with a capital, the system generates account, accounting principle is specific document that also post against technical clearing. This is also shown you. This part I am talking about, about this journal entry and this accounting principle and valuation view the technical clearing need to be defined as a reconciliation for ss so how technical clearing gl should be created in fs00 when you are creating any technical clearing gl fs00 it should be created under the asset it should be created a balance sheet it should be created an asset and very very important it should be created like asset it should be created like asset reconciliation type this is the another point now and <clears throat> technical need to be created as a reconciliation asset due to operation valuation part of the posting for each account if you start up doing balances this already discussed technical clearing balance should be zero technical clearing is not a mentor as a technical first of all if you have created as a reconciliation account type, you cannot activate the open item management and it is not required also. Reason being, there are two reasons. There are two reasons. First of all, then and there only, it is getting nullified. So open item management not required. I have already posted on video about the open item management. 
why GLs are required is an open item management that I have already discussed. Please watch that video. So this is one point. It is already nullified. Another point. This, this is not laser specific posting. This line item is not laser specific posting. But this line item is laser specific posting. This line item. This line item laser. So one is laser specific, another is non-laser specific. You will not be able to clear also. If at all, SAP in future allows also. Okay. So this is the some technical thing. Now manual posting anyway, since it is created as a recon, you will not be able to post manually in this GL anything. Then <clears throat> automatic posting a technical account integrated. Okay. So in which scenarios technical clearing GL will come into picture? Either only it is during the purchase or it will come during the sales or retirement. In which are the scenarios technical clearing GL will come? So technical clearing GL will come into two scenarios. One during the acquisition, that acquisition from the external vendor, either from FI side or from MM side. Another it will come into picture for the investment support measures. This may be new for many people in both investment support measures uh, is the concept where you get any kind of uh, government grants so in that scenario also technical clearing come into picture i will be posting very soon video about this concept also how to handle government grants kind of thing so in this two scenario only technical clearing gl will come into picture okay and <clears throat> Uh, this is the journal entry uh, and another very very important thing we already know it but however i'm uh, explaining so for kr document number document number ranges will be consumed from fbn1 for kr whatever you maintain this also will get consumed fbn1 for asset and save document number I mean it will be here also same same will anyway same document number getting passed here and same is getting passed here but what about this one will this same document whatever num document number got generated for 0 L same document number will be there for this also no because these are laser specific posting so for this non leading laser you know that you have to create separate number ranges for non-leading laser and so this number ranges and this number ranges may be different but AR document number ranges will be common in all the places. Now let me show you one posting. So AS01 I am creating one asset. Technical clearing GL testing I am doing save it okay asset number 5019 get created slash f090 this is the t code you have to purchase here document type give your vendor thousand rupees Give posting key 5019 and give your 100. Okay. So when you simulate, when you simulate, this is the <coughs> vendor account debit to technical clearing GL account. This is the general entry got generated. Vendor account credit to technical clearing account debit. Vendor account credit to technical clearing GL account. So if you you can see my GL, if you are getting confused, FS double zero. So this is my technical clearing GL. Okay, so this is getting credit debited, the vendor account getting. Uh, credited and technical clearing getting debited. This journal entry getting posted. This is known as a valuation view. Now, 
come to asset accounting same will get passed to asset accounting also okay so this is for 0l first of all i mean 0l right now ifrs you can see a, a document type is your valuation view okay this is your valuation view in valuation view what journal into you have you have 70 mean debit asset account debit to technical clearing account credit okay this journal entry asset account debit to technical clearing account and ar ar is your operational document it passed to in this ledger also this one okay in this technical clearing account debit this one to vendor account credit okay similarly you can see for other ledger also see this is my local gap here also same this is my now let let me post it document number also observe so this is the document number got generated observe it carefully so this is my kr document type got generated okay document type kr click here See same KR document type, KR document type this one, this past here, and this is my asset document number for leading ledger. Now come here for non-leading ledger. Observe this asset accounting document number may be different, but this KR document number will be same in all the ledgers. Click here. See, so asset accounting document number different, but my KR document number is same. So this point here. Okay. So again, I'm repeating your operational document number in non ledger species is common for all the ledgers, but your valuation view document number a ledger specific that may be different from one accounting principle to another accounting principle. Now, very quickly, how to map technical clearing GL account. Technical clearing GL account you can map at two level either at chart of account level or at account account determination level. So here you come and you can map to your chart of account. Sorry, here is my chart of account. This is the chart of this is my technical clearing. If for each account determination, me, meaning that for asset you want separate technical clearing, for building you want separate technical clearing, for plant you want separate technical clearing, that is also possible. So you can come here and you can map here chart of depreciation sorry chart of account chart of account account determination and technical clearing gl you can map here so this is how you need to explain i hope you understood what is called valuation view what is called what is the operational view and i have a how to purchase from mm side how journal entry will get posted that i have already posted a video in my youtube channel please watch them thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe the channel